Hi, I'm Pastor Jason Michaels, one of the many ministers of CAG Ministries. I would like to thank you on behalf of the ministry team and the congregation of Christian Assembly of God for taking time to allow us to minister to you today. Before we go any further, let's go live into the sanctuary of Christian Assembly of God for a short preview of today's message. Thanks again. You see, writing's coming. But if you're all wrong, Come on. Yes. It'll pass by. Come on. Come on, son. I said when the, the rain comes and the floods rise and the wind begins to blow, and when it's all over, you, you see, because when the rains come and the winds blow and the floods came up, they won't outlast the rock. They come and they go. The storm can't always stay around. Come on, somebody. I said the storm can't always stay around. It might look bad right now, but the storm can't keep up with God. Hallelujah. You see, God is from everlasting to everlasting. Praise God. And the devil might show up for a season, but God, whoo, over that God, he's the rock that I stand on. Yes. And when the floods come and the winds blow and the rains come down, praise God, when they've gone, the rock is still there. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Jason again. We hope you enjoyed that short preview of today's message. Before we go any further, we'd like to give you a small glimpse of our worship service. Now, let's go back into the sanctuary as our worship team lifts up the name of Jesus, the name above all names, the name by which we are saved.
There's nothing worse than someone that is that that is wrong, that is in a situation that has brought depression, that has brought discomfort in their spirit and anxiety, loss of joy and loss of hope, and somehow feels that it's a place of spirituality. That it's spiritual to be depressed. It's spiritual to be defeated. It's spiritual to have a defeated uh, a defeatism in their heart and in their mind. I've seen and been around folks like that. And I believe that even in the darkest and the depth of time, God is present. Yes. I can't help but believe that because I've been in situations that have been brought on by following God. I want to say this, by following God that has not been pleasant. Because every place that God leads does not equal When God leads us into some places, rather there's times that we're going to suffer some affliction, we're going to suffer some persecution, we're going to uh, have to cry on him in the midnight hour, and we're going to have to see him come through. Uh, there's going to be times when we, we go into these things that we find ourselves in a position to where we wonder where God's at. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The wind's come. Yeah. Yeah. The rains come. The floods come. And many times this situation comes even for those that are founded on the rock. Even for those that are secure, even for those that have placed their confidence in Jesus Christ. Difficult times happen. Problems occur because we're living in a time where the adversary, the devil, is walking about as a roaring lion, yes. seeking whom he may devour. Yes. And a lot of times, whether you want to recognize this or not, our economy, our structure of our own life, our finances, are tied in with society. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing that we can do about layoffs and cutoffs and disappointments and things. There's not a whole lot that we could do about it, but we can have rest in it. So I'm an advocate that for this, trouble does come. Hallelujah. Problems, and I'm advocate, I'm telling you, it happens. The prosperity folks will tell you that it never happens, but I'm here to tell you that it does. I'm here to tell you that there's times when even in the will of God, you'll find yourself yeah. unable to do some of the things that you would want to do. Yeah. There comes times, even in the will of God, that you question where God is. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. But I'm here to tell you that he never slumbers and he never sleeps. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that his eye is on the spout. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. And I know that he watches me. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that when I lay my head down to, to rest at night at angels, camp around where I'm at. Praise God. And if God is for me, the scripture says, and who shall be against me? I'm here to tell you that he gives me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And I'm here to tell you that he's God in the morning, but he's also God at midnight. Praise God. Hallelujah. And when you place a child of God in the jail cell, and that child can praise him. Praise God. I said for Paul, the flood came. The rains came down. The wind was blowing. The, 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 the situation looked bad. And in fact, it was bad. But for the child of God that can maintain praise. Amen. That can maintain a right attitude. That can maintain a joy. That can maintain a praise. That can stay focused on God. Because there's a bigger thing that's going on than what's going on with you. Praise God. There's a God in heaven. Praise God that sets high. He looks low. Hallelujah. He knows every need. And he supplies those according to his riches and glory. By Christ Jesus. And I'm here to tell you that heaven is not bankrupt. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God will make a way somewhere. Yeah. Hallelujah. I said God will make a way somewhere. You see, I've been through too much. Yes. I've seen too many dark times. Praise
praise God. Hallelujah. Just to see him come through. And I'm here to tell you not because somebody told me. And you are, you're the same way. You don't know it because somebody told you. Praise God. He came through for you when nobody else. And you can go back. You don't need a testimony. You don't need somebody to stand up and to tell you. You don't need a proclamation from somebody. Many of you that's in this sanctuary today have seen the midnight hour. Praise God. And you've seen him come through time and time and time again. And you can say, if it had not been for God. But the wind and the rain and the floods come. Praise God. But God does not get nervous. God does not get upset. God does not wring his hand. God does not get troubled. God is not setting up in heaven having board meetings and saying, what are we going to do now? It's bad. It's worse than it's ever been. So we're going to have, is anybody, can, can we do like bull weevil and pull a rabbit out of a hat? And then we need help. No, no, no. Hallelujah. I'm serving a God that sprinkles stars in the space. I'm serving a God that speaks worlds into existence. I'm serving a God that his little finger etches out oceans. Praise God. I'm serving a God that's not disillusioned, that's not dismayed, that's not troubled. Amen. I'm serving a God that ever liveth. I'm serving a God that blesses good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I'm serving a God that knows just exactly what he's doing and just exactly where I am. Oh, that gives me that gives me joy. Yes, the rain's coming. Yes, the wind's blowing. Yes, the flood's coming. But God knows right where Daddy is. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not only does he know where I am, but he cares. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can call on him. And he hears me. Hallelujah. He's not so busy that he can't hear me. I'm so glad to tell you that when I come to him in the name that's above every name, when I come to when I say that name, it opens up the avenues of heaven. When I say that name, the phone of heaven begins to ring. Come on, somebody. You know what I'm talking about. When I say that name, God hears everything. He lives here and he Maybe he stoops down and he, and he hears, oh, that's one of my children that's crying out. Hallelujah. I want you to know today that God is for you. Amen. I'm not an advocate for depression. I've never found any reason to be depressed. I've been through situations, many are well documented in the building of this church. They're real. They happen. Hallelujah, but he never left. Hallelujah, you've come too late to tell me that he'll not come through. Praise God. Hallelujah. I've been through too many things, been talked about, been ridiculed, been, amen, nearly, well, I've probably been cursed too. Praise God, but hallelujah, he knew right where I was. And praise God, and what drove me to my knees ushered me into his presence. Amen. Praise God. I'm a strong advocate for the victorious life that has been afforded us. I'm a strong advocate. Even in the midst of trouble. Hallelujah. I'm not going to resort to carnal means. Do you hear what I'm saying? I refuse to resort to carnal means. I refuse to worry. I refuse to pray. My wife will tell you I worry about very, very little. I can't stand negative talking. I can't stand negativism. I don't even. I don't even like to hear bad weather reports. You hear me? I mean, I'm I'm that way. If anybody's around me very long, they'll know that as bad as it gets, I've still got a praise. I still got a, I still got a an optimistic outlook. I still I'm looking on the God side of it all. Praise God because what He brought me out of. Hallelujah has convinced me that He knows my name. Amen. I'm a strong advocate for a victorious.
victorious life. I'm a strong advocate for a praise in the midst of the storm. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Shame on you if you can't praise God in the middle of the mess. Shame on you if you don't have enough God in you. Hallelujah. You ought to just put it in a thimble and fly backwards like a bumblebee in it. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I've got enough God in me that's resident in my life to where when the midst of the storm comes up, I've still got to praise. I don't need to be blessed to praise Him. I don't need somebody dropping good things into my life. I don't need the good measure and the press down and shaking together and the running over all the time in my life to praise Him. Praise Amen. God. Because I know that He is and He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek after Him. I'm an advocate. I'm an advocate for praise. Hallelujah. I don't understand folks that say with the Spirit of God not having joy that's un speakable and it's full of glory in the middle of the storm. I'm an advocate for the victorious life because sometimes it rains. Sometimes it floods. Sometimes the wind blows. Praise God. But because of what he did at Calvary, I'm okay. I said because of what he did at Calvary, because it was a finished work, praise God. Because it never has to be redone. Oh, yeah. Praise God. It never has to be it never has to be uh, 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 added to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We talked about it in Sunday school class today. It never has to be propped up by anything else. Praise God. What God did at Calvary I'm complete. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It takes me into a, a realm with Him. It takes me into an area with Him. When I anchor my faith in what He did at Calvary and not in what I can do. Praise God. When I anchor my life in the finished work of the cross and I know that if God's for me then who can be against me and I know because of what He did at Calvary's cross I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me and I know that He blesses me and I know that He's never going to leave me and He's never going to forsake me and He's going to go with me all the way even into the end of the world. Why? Because at Calvary it was finished. somewhere with this. I believe that health and healing and prosperity and anointing and blessings are or should be a part of the Christian experience. Do you hear what I'm saying? I said I believe that health and healing I believe that. I find it in the Bible. I can't help but believe it. I still believe that these signs follow them that believe. They lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I don't know, you know, how anybody can believe anything other than that because he's a healer. I know here just a few weeks ago, Anita's little boy was, was burnt and, and they took him in and uh, 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 he, there was an explosion and his arm was burnt severely and they bandaged it all up and they, they, they took him to a burn center in Huntington and they looked at it and they said, you must go to, to uh, Old High. And we, we learned about it. We began to pray. We began to see. They said, you must take him to Cincinnati. And they fixed the ambulance and they rode him to Cincinnati. They looked at it and these people are well rehearsed in, in this. You see, right, it's come. But if you're all wrong. Come on. Yes. It'll pass by. Come on, son. I said when the, the rain comes and the floods rise and the wind begins to blow and when it's all over, you, you see, because when the rains come and the winds blow and the floods came up, they won't outlast the rock. They come and they go. The storm can't always stay around. Come on, somebody. I said the storm can't always stay around. It might look bad right now, but the storm can't keep up with God. Hallelujah. You see, God is from everlasting to everlasting. Praise God. And the devil might show up for a season, but God, whoo, over that God, he's the rock that I stand on. And when the floods come and the winds blow and the rains come down, praise God, when they've gone, the rock is still there. Hallelujah. Surgery, 
And it's bad. And these people are well reversed. In fact, they, they are the burn center. They do the adult. They take care of the adults. But this was a child. So they had to send him to Cincinnati, to the Shriners. And when they got up there, they unbandaged it. You see, when you pray, the storm shuts up. Do you believe that, preacher? I got joy in that. I got a shout in that, praise God. Do you believe it? You doggone well. You better believe I believe it. You better believe I believe it, pal. I believe that, I believe that the storms do come. I believe that the winds blow. I believe that the rains come. I believe that the floods rise. I believe that the situation takes place. But I believe that also this. They came out at last. The storm cannot outlast the rock. Amen. I 
believe it's just in their mind. And when you preach messages like this, it's just graffiti to them that blows in the wind. But I'm here to tell you that God has made provision for us. Amen. The Bible in 2 Corinthians, the second chapter, says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. You see, if there's going to be a time of triumph, there must be a time of opposition over the triumph. In other words, the rain is going to come. The flood is a fact. And the wind is a certainty. I don't take pleasure in saying that, yet it can't be ignored. And in relaying this message to you, I want you to understand this. That God sees us in every position that we find ourselves in. God knows where we're at in the good times. And God knows where we're at in the bad times. 1 John 3 and 2 says this, Beloved, now, now, are we the sons of God? Now, right now. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that, that he shall appear. Yeah. And that's soon to take place. Oh, yeah. We shall be like him, or we shall see him as he is. In other words, I have a current position with him right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm right now. The Spirit itself bears witness with my spirit. I'm a child of God. If, if children of God, then heirs of God. And join heirs with Christ Jesus. If so be, the suffering, yes, the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that's going to be revealed oh, in us. Right now, I'm a son of God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's my current position. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But it's about to change. Yeah. 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 I'll still be the son. I'll still be a son of God. Yeah. But I, I've got another position. Yes, amen. 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 Mm -hmm. I said I've got another position. Yeah. When I see him, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you see, this is not the, this is not it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm here. In the suffering of this present time. I'm here. Uh -huh. I'm here. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of the law. I know. The storms come. The winds blow. The rains descend. I know where I'm at right now. He knows exactly where I'm at. There's a current position where I am right now. But when I see him, I've got another position that's heading and it's coming soon. Hallelujah. I'm looking, praise God. I'm waiting. I'm hallelujah. I'm keeping my lamps trimmed and bright. Praise God. Keep oh best to say, keep your wedding garments on. There's something that is moving in my soul. Say, child, was all you can live in sorrow. You can live in a place to where you're disillusioned, you're disappointed, you're hurt, you think that everything is going to no, 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 no. Praise God. Keep a praise, keep a shout, keep a joy in your life. Hallelujah. There's a joy that's available, that's unspeakable, that is full of glory. I've got a current position, but I've also got a future position with him. Yeah. Romans 8, 14 says, For as many are led by the Spirit of God, they're the sons of God. Praise God. That's me. I'm a son of God. And even though I'm a child of God with a current and future position, even receiving the Spirit of adoption, crying, Abba, Abba Father, even an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. The Apostle Paul says under the Holy Spirit, says that there's going to be times of disappointment and there's going to be times of suffering. So the storms will at times come and the rain will fall and the floods will rise and the wind's going to blow. It's going to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. It happens to the just. And the unjust. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I got good news for him. He doesn't leave. He doesn't forsake. He goes all the way. He the end of the world. Praise God. Hang your hat on that. Praise God. Get your hopes up. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can bow your fist up under the nose of the devil and say, if he's for me, then who shall be against me? God's on my side. He never leaves me. He never forsakes me. Walk in confidence. Walk in certainty. Walk in surety. Walk in faith. Praise God. God is on your side. When the storms come, the winds blow, and the floods begin to rise. The only thing that ensures my safety, the only thing that gives me security, the only thing that gives me hope is not the house. You hear what I'm saying? It's not the house. 
It's not you. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You hear what I'm saying? It's not you. It's not your religious ways. It's not the things that you've done. That's not what brings the safety. Yeah. Uh -uh. It's not. It, it's not. It, it's not all the things. It's not you trying to be the spiritual giant, uh -uh. Uh -uh. trying to act like you know. Oh, I'm a. That's not. That's not. That's not what. No. That's. It's. It, it's not even your attending church. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's not the things that you do for people. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not the money that you give. No. It's not the time that you spend. Amen. And though we should do those things, but that's not why I'm saved. It's not my house. No. It's not that. No. It's not my prayer life. It's not my giving. It's not my preaching. It's not my singing. It's not all the things that I do that brings me safety, that brings me certainty, that brings me security. It's the rock. Yes. Hallelujah. It's the rock. It's not the house. It's not me. Praise God. It's not what I do. It's the rock. And that rock is Jesus Christ himself. Yes. So the condition of the expression of my position, my salvation, is built upon the rock Christ Jesus. And guess what? It goes through the storms, but it's not altered. It remains unaltered. How, 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 can, how can you say that? When you walked where I walked, and you've seen what I say, and you've been through what I've been through,
I'm here and to plan on staying. Amen. Why? Because I've got a foundation. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 In 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, 11 verse says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. And when the storms of life, listen to me, church, when the storms of life arise, I'll stand firm Amen. in a foundation that is unshaken, that is unmovable, that is firm, that is sure. For the foundation that I have was not contrived in the mind of man or the schools of great thought or the theories of a religion. The foundation that I stand on goes way back, way back. Before children ever laughed, Amen. before a mother ever chopped, ever smiled into the at the eyes of a little baby, back before stars ever glistened, mm -hmm. before worlds ever existed, it goes way back. Amen. My foundation goes way back. Yes. Yes. For the Lamb oh. that was slain Amen. of the foundations Amen. of the world. That's my foundation. Amen. Yes. With my foundation stable, after the storm, I'm left. You notice this. I'm left with more passion. Mm -hmm. I'm left with more purpose. Mm -hmm. When the storms, and I've been through them, yes. I'm left with greater zeal. I'm left with greater determination. And even though the storm came, my promise remains. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. The storm comes, but God's word does not change. No, no. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. I said, when the storms come and it looks bad, the word of God is from everlasting Amen. to everlasting. Amen. Let every man be alive, but let God's word be true. Amen. Amen. These are all challenged in the storm. All the promises of God. I'm closing. All of these promises, when you go through a storm, and you can't tell me that you don't, you question. You're troubled. And they're challenged. Have you ever been challenged? Has the enemy ever come in the middle of the storm and said, ha-ha? Yes. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you now. You're in the storm. Where's your God? Yeah. And your your promises are being challenged. Yeah. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. This the, the what I'm preaching to you today, if you'll take this into your spirit and you'll you'll receive this, it just won't go in one ear and out, out the other. When the storm comes up and he begins to challenge you, yeah. you can come back with him. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. When you've run out of breath, blow him, devil. When you can't cause the storm to come anymore. When you're tired and you can't bring about any more infliction on me, my promises will stay. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Glory. Yes. Peter said this. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through us. Yes, promises are challenged, even the promises of God. So stand.
it's in the scripture, I read it and they helped me a little bit. Don't take it a strange. 